everybody, we are on the Xbox today. We're going to uh, show you how to mod Doom 2 for the Xbox 360, obviously. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. What you want to do is go ahead and sign in. We're going to use our test gamer tag today. YouTube test gamer tag right there. Alright, now what you want to do is go ahead and load up Doom 2. Uh, I'm just going to quick launch it. There you can see Doom 2 is the last game I played. Alright, just go ahead and let this game load up. Alright, go ahead and press A to start it. You know, select your uh, memory unit that you want to use. We're going to use the uh, USB flash drive. Go ahead and go to single player. What we're going to do is do a new game. Right? Let's go click the first one. Any difficulty you want, doesn't really matter. Do nightmare. Alright, now what you want to do, just go ahead and save your game. Alright, now that you've saved your game, what you want to do is go ahead and now we're going to go mod it on the computer using Modio. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, hey everybody. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video on um, how to mod Doom 2. Like I said, I was going to make one. Uh, I don't know how many guys actually have, actually have Doom 2 for the Xbox 360. But for those of you that do, this can be a little fun for you. So, uh... So go ahead and check it out. Today I'm using Windows 7 instead of the XP because it's a lot faster. So uh, let's jump right into it. What you need to do is go ahead and open up Mario. Mine's already open, so I'm just going to bring that up. And you're going to click on the big M, bring down the Dropbox. Go ahead and explore my device. Alright, once you do that, go ahead and go File, open up your device, and let it load up. Alright, now that the account is loaded, let's go ahead and go and click on uh, Content. Go on to the account that we'll be using today, which would be YouTube Test Gamer Tag. Click on your Doom 2 Game Safe. And go ahead and export that to your desktop. If you're on a uh, Vista or Windows 7, you can do the extract feature. If you're on XP, just go ahead and click it and uh, drag it over to the desktop. Alright, let's just go ahead and uh, let that extract. Once that's all done, let me do a quick check, make sure it's there. Alright, there we go. Save zero. Alright, now once you have your save onto your desktop or whatever save location you might want to have it, go ahead and open up the Doom 2 save editor. Alright, now once the Doom 2 save editor is open, go to File, open up your save file. Alright, go ahead and search for it. Here's mine, it's save zero. Go ahead and open it. Alright, now as you can see, uh, it says everything, uh, my stats, my information. I'm level one entryway, it's my slave uh, slot, save zero. And my difficulty is on the hardest difficulty, which is nightmare. So, go ahead. Now, with this editor, you can change your stats. You can put as much health as you want as much armor you know and as much ammo as you like you do infinite ammo you know and this is your weapons you can have all the weapons in the game I think these are all the weapons except for the chainsaw and uh, if you want all the keys go ahead and unlock all the keys and your items you can be invincible invisible radiation berserk but for now we'll just go ahead and leave the invincible one on you know stats let's change our stats let's get uh, infinite health uh, everybody likes infinite health. Not that it really matters that you're invincible now, but 
still nice to still nice to have. All right, now as you can see, we have infinite amount of everything, health, armor, and all of our type of ammo. Now what you want to do once you're done with everything that you want to do, you know, whatever items, whatever keys, all the weapons and your stats, go ahead and go to file and save. And it says you a uh, little notification that your file was saved. You go ahead and exit that. Open up Modio again, wherever you may have it. Mine's still open. What you want to do is go ahead and open up your resigner. Right, you want to go ahead and load your file. Scroll down. There it is. Save zero. Open it. As you can see, Doom 2 right here. Go ahead and rehash and resign. There you go. Let's go ahead and move this save into Armadio. Now, if, uh, if you're on XP, just go ahead and click and drag it and uh, dump it into your memory stick or your hard drive. If you're on uh, Vista or XP, up oh, sorry Vista or Windows 7 go ahead and right click and inject file save zero would you like to overwrite it yes I would okay there you go now once it's all done overwriting go ahead and go file and close that out alright now uh, we're gonna see all our hard work that we just did pay off in the actual real game so I'll see you guys in a little bit all right, hey everybody, now that we're back on Doom 2, let's go ahead and see all our mods pay off. So what you want to do is go ahead and click single player and load up your uh, save file that you just modded. Now as you can see, I am uh, invisible and I am invincible. There's the modded armor, the health, all the weapons, the ammo, and then the rest of the ammo and the keys. So let's go ahead and switch the weapon with a pistol. There's a shotgun. There's a chain gun right there, a little Gatling gun. Rocket launcher. And the uh, laser thingy. I don't really know the names to all the weapons. So yeah, um, you know, this is basically all you need to do. That's all it takes to mod this game. Real simple mod using the tool, which will of course be in the description. So you guys can definitely check this out if you guys have the game. Yeah, that's basically all you need to do to mod this game. Now, um, the only downside about this mod is that every time you complete a level, no matter what difficulty you're on, once you complete it and head to the next level, you will have to remod your game save. But it's not that hard if you're doing it for completion and you're trying to get like 100% on everything. So it'll take you, time, take you some time before you actually have to go and mod it again. So anyway, uh, again, if you guys learned anything, go ahead and uh, comment and thumbs up. And that's basically how you mod the game. Alright, later guys.